What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Zacian team alongside with Weakness Policy Hacksters and Umbreon. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. And shout out to my boy Trenton for dropping this team. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to hop on that ranked ladder and try to get some wins with this team. But rocking out in our front spot, we're getting started in the top left corner. We got Comfy with the triage ability and the Babiri Berry so we can eat up a steel shot. Normal moveset for this Pokemon is a support mod with Draining Kiss, Ally Switch, Floral Healing, and Trick Room. Right next to him, we got Thunderous with a Defiant ability considering there's so many Intimidate Pokemons in this meta right now. We also have the Soul Fest so we can eat up some special attacking shots. But then we got a normal moveset for this Pokemon with Wild Charge, Fly, Super Power, and Crunch both for our coverage moves. Middle left, we got Haxorus with the weakness policy, Mold Breaker, so we can actually hit through abilities, which is great. So if, like, Mimikyu's on the field, I can actually just hit right through his disguise and get right after him. We also have the weakness policy with this Pokemon that we can proc with the Comfy. We have the Dragon Call for Stab, Stop and Tantrum, and Iron Tail for coverage and protect as our final move. We have Zacian also right next to him with the Interpret Sword for that, uh... Ability and the Rusted Sword for his item, so he gets that plus one attack boost right off the bat. And then we have Iron Head for Stab, Sacred Sword, Wild Charge, both for coverage and protect as our final move. This Pokemon's an absolute beast. I'm pretty sure we're going to be bringing him in every single battle. Bottom left corner, we have Incineroar with Intimidate and the Citrus Berry. Normal Pokemon here. Great Pokemon as well with Flare Blitz, Darkest Lariat, Parting Shot, and Fake. Now, this Pokemon is so good. Its support is insane. It can just control battles with its Intimidate and Parting Shot. I can just swap out and legit control the battle. And he also has Fake Out so I can flinch turn one once I get in. Then final spot, we have Umbreon. I absolutely love this evolution, especially in this meta, or not in this meta, in this generation for all my battles. It's just so much fun to use, and I feel like it's a solid choice as well. We got Inner Focus so we can't be flinched. We also have Leftovers here for a little bit of HP at the end of turn. Foul Play for Physical Attackers. Snarl for Special Attackers. Moonlight and Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Diablo team alongside with Landris, Thunderous, Tapu Fini, Incineroar, and Grimstar. Very heavy meta team over here, but I actually almost forgot to ask you guys a question of the day. You guys probably already saw it in the bottom left corner, but what is your guys' favorite candy? Chocolate and non-chocolate. Considering I've been thinking a lot about candy, I love candy. Candy is amazing, but there's always two types of candy, so you have to have a favorite for chocolate and non-chocolate. For me, I absolutely love Twix bars and Almond Joys. Those are my two top favorite chocolate candy bars. I can eat like a thousand of them. And then my all-time favorite candy is a non-chocolate candy, and that is Dots. I know some people are going to call me weird. Like, really, Jeans? Out of all the candy, Dots? Yo, Dots smack. I can eat a whole box of them by myself. Like, whenever I go to the movies, I sneak in a box of those. Just hank them down, all of them in my mouth all at once, chew them, let them stick to my teeth, taste all that flavor, and they're just so delicious. I absolutely love them, but we're not going to ask Pokemon question today because I kind of want to get to know you guys, and I want you guys to get to know me a little bit more. So those are my favorite candies. Let me know what you guys are. But we have 30 seconds left to actually choose this team. Um, okay, I think I'm actually going to go into the Confi Hacks first combo. I think I can do that right off the rip. Bring in Zacian because Zacian's an absolute beast, or I can go Umbreon. Umbreon's not bad here either. Could go Thunderous. Thunderous kind of rocks out here too. I don't want to get Thunders. Yeah, yo, let's get Thunders rocking out here. I'm liking them. I'm digging them. We're going to break Thunders in that back end. But, yeah, we got Haxorus and Comfy getting rocking out here. Hopefully, we can probably at least possibly get after it and maybe get some wins with this team. I want to definitely go, like, 2-1 and one for this video. That'd be pretty dope. Hopefully, we can get started really, really strong here. But as you guys can tell, my throat is still a little, uh, a little dry, a little raspy here. But it's starting to dial down. It doesn't hurt as much as it used to. It just still sounds just as bad, though. So, I can tell it's getting a little bit better. But he goes with the Grim Snarl, and he goes with the, uh, with the Alga. I could have led my Snarl, boy. Yo, that could have been good. I do have the Babiri Berry, so, yo, you can get out of my face. Uh, I break the Mold. Get after I do have a Ground Move, which is actually lovely. And I could Drain and Kiss, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Drain and Kiss right off the rip here. Go here, and I'm going to Dynamax. And I could Quake. Do I Quake? Hmm. I feel like I should Quake. Get that special defense boost. I doubt he's a uh, weakness policy. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for that special defense boost because Yaga's an absolute pain. Let's see what he does. I think he's gonna Dynamax as well. I can definitely see it happening. Maybe him setting up screens, him going for a fake out, something along those lines. But I'm definitely Dynamaxing. But yo, once I saw this team, I was like, yo, it has Haxorus on it. I haven't used Haxorus in forever. It used to be uh very popular, like when the 
competitive battles first started in this game. Then as the meta moved on, you just seen less and less of him. But he's such a cool Pokemon. Really, really dope. Looking very strong, too. I think he's better in singles more so than doubles. Consider Mimikyu is an absolute powerhouse in singles. This thing can counter up easily with the Mold Breaker and the uh, Iron Tail. Which is not stab, but it still does a lot of damage. That's the only thing that sinks. He's only Dragon type. I wish he had an extra typing with him. But a good question is, so some Pokemon have two typings. So does a does Haxorus's Dragon move do get a bigger stab boost than Pokemon with double typing? If you guys know what I'm saying. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. I think you guys might. But that is a good question. So like, would would uh, Haxorus's Dragon stab be bigger than uh, Dialga's Dragon stab, considering he has two? Considering he has two, what's it called? Two typings, and I only have one. I think that should be a thing, right? I don't know. But you guys know more than me. We're going to go for the Smack Quake. Do some nice damage on that thing. And most importantly, get a special defense boost. Which is pretty big. There's a special defense boost popping here. I can see him going for a Steel Spike into my Comfy. See what he does. He's just going to go straight for a Wormling. Okay. Can we eat that? Of course we don't. Of course we don't. Why would we? Why would we eat it up? Special defense boost does nothing for me. The Alka is so good. Uh, I can bring out Zacian. I could totally bring out Zacian. Just get that attack boost. Well, my boy goes down. <laughs> my dude goes down. I could bring out Thunder. Thunder isn't bad. And I could go for Superpower. Hmm. Could bring out Zacian as well. Zacian's not bad. Zacian should be able to outspeed. Do some work. Right? Yeah, 201. Oh, dude, he's just cooking. So what's Haxorus speed? It's like one something, right? Yeah, 145. Yo, let's bring out uh, let's bring out Zacian right now. Yeah, we're gonna be able to get after this. Uh, I could go for a draining kiss, do some damage onto the uh, Grimstarl. Um, hmm. And then just get straight after the uh, the Alga. Zacian's really, really strong. I really do like this Pokemon. I gotta go for that draining kiss. And then uh Sacred Sword. Or do I go for a Behemoth Bash? Now nah, we're just gonna stick it so we're trying to uh, put this pressure on this Dialga slot. I wonder what Grimstar is gonna do. Set up a screen? I really do wonder what he's gonna do. He already taunted me. This thing's gonna guard. I kinda saw that coming. But I, I need to put the pressure on. Because if I didn't uh, go for a Sacred Sword and he didn't guard, then that could have been a rough turn. It could have been a rough turn. He could have just got like a free hit off me. He's gonna trick and it fails. Get out of my face. We don't have an item. <laughs> we don't have an item. So Diago protects itself again. We're gonna go for another drain and kiss. And I'm just gonna go for another sacred sword. Give me no reason not to. So we are sitting decent, considering I still have my comfy here. Taunt's gonna go away in a little bit. And Diago's gonna go down here. Have my Zassian at full HP. Which I wonder what uh Gripstar is gonna do. Is he gonna swap items now? Which I uh, that would probably be the play to swap items with my comfy. Take off my Babiri Berry. But a lot of my turns, I get first turn priority on. I have allies, which I have floral healing. And healing moves get a uh, first turn. He's going to withdraw the Grimstar, so that's good. And he's going to swap it in. Landers, okay. And he just wants that Intimidate drop. That's more so what he's looking for here. Which is fine. He gets the Intimidate drop. We go to even, which is still great. Better than the minus one. And Drain the Kiss can come out. We're going to do a little bit of damage to the Lando. And Sacred Sword should come in here and pick up this cannon on the city. It's Dialga. Beautiful. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get a crit. I think we were picking up the KO regardless. But dude, if I was still plus one, we were storm running this game. We were just going to get after it and run this match. Yo, I actually just looked at my record button to make sure I was recording. And it reminded me of a time where I recorded a full video. Well, I thought I was recording. I recorded for like 40 minutes and I never hit the record button. I freaked out. Yo, what you mean, man? I was buzzing on it <laughs> and it did nothing. Um, I could ally switch. Uh, he's probably gonna go for the EQ to be honest with you. There might be no point to go for that. I'm just gonna drain and kiss again. Do you and I could just go for a behemoth bash or I could just go straight for a wild charge. Wild charge isn't bad. I am gonna go ahead and get after this wild charge. Try to do big damage to this Pokemon. Drain and kiss can come out here. He's probably gonna drop an EQ so I can floral heal next turn. And I'm going to go for this wild charge. Try to do as much damage as I can. There we go. Some decent damage. We're going to take some recoil here. Which I'm fine with. It's not that much. EQ's can come through. And, oh, telepathy finny? Okay, yo, I'm feeling it. I dig that. That scene is able to eat. And finny's going to come through here. 
Oh, that's kind of scary. You gonna go for the water? Calm mind. Okay, so calm mind boost. It actually works out perfect for us. He's gonna protect. I think he protects. I think he protects, right? I definitely throw a heal onto my Zass here. I he shakes off the taunt. But definitely throw a heal here. Do I protect? No, because then I block my floral heal. I think he's gonna protect, right? Like what? What conf or what type of thing is not rocket protect? And just rock a behemoth blade over into lander slot. Right? Is he gonna protect? I think he didn't. Dang, I could have just took it out. Royal Heal's gonna come out here. Dang, I should have hit that Finny. Finny doesn't protect, man. Try making the hard read. Try making the hard read. Let's do some damage on the U. Do not pick up the KO, which stinks. And the EQ's gonna come here and uh, take us out. Dang, yo, telepathy Tapu Finny. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. And that's gonna pick up the double KO. Wow. That's really that's actually really cool. That's actually a really cool uh, little combo there. So this is a whole squad and it's legit just gonna be dangerous. Actually, no, Thunders can actually do some work here. Thunders can uh pick up uh, pick up the KO on the top of Finny right now. We do have the soul vest. Mm, this one's gonna be tough though. It really is. It's probably rock and rock slide. It's a Grim Snarl still. So I'm still gonna fight this one. I'm gonna see what we can do. He could be choice into it. If he's choice in the EQ, we can win this one easily. Which I can definitely see happening. Let's see. Finny protects. Now Now it protects. Now this thing protects. Come on, man. Wild Charge comes through. Block. Smart block by him. And is this thing choice? No, obviously not. Gonna drop a rock slide and it's gonna do some big damage on me. Yeah, it's GG's. It's gonna be GG's. Big protect from him. And we're gonna start off this video with one loss. Dude, I thought we played that one decent. And then he kind of came in there with that telepathy and actually did some work. I'm going to run this one. I'm going to run that one. But big mistake was us actually Dynamax and Hexers getting it dumped on in turn one and losing that battle from there. Hopping into battle number two, going up against a Groudon Drought team alongside with Torkoal as well. So he has two Drought Pokemon. He's going to control the weather really, really well here. Um, Trick Room with the Rangaroo? Yeah, it's looking like a thing. He has a Mai Shao and the uh, Mincino. Is that is that that Pokemon? Mincino? Mincino? However you want to pronounce it. Storm Drain Gastron. Good thing we have no water Pokemon. Um, he has a lot of special here. I think I'm going to lead the Umbreon. Get Umbreon rolling out here. Uh, might lead the Confi too in case he wants to roll Trick Room. I could actually counter that up. Or I can withdraw you and go uh, Confi and Haxorus combo again. That's not bad. The Comfy Hexers combo is really not bad here. Uh, does any of this Pokemon have follow me? The Rangaroo does. But Comfy can actually go before that, which is delightful. It's lovely. You're going to bring Zacian. Got to bring Zacian. And then do I bring... What do I bring? Thunders could be pretty cool. But I think Umbreon's going to come in clutch here. He need a support mod. So yeah, we're going to bring Umbreon in that final spot. We're going to have Hexers and Zacian do all the uh, upfront damage. And then we're going to have uh, Snarls, Umbreon come in the back end. He could lead the My Shao. The My Shao could definitely come out here in turn number one, considering it has Fake Out as all that good stuff. But I believe Comfy does go before that. Considering he could just drop a nice little uh, Tri Age ability and get that uh, Draining Kiss off. Which is nice. That's what that's what's awesome about him. It goes before Follow Me's. I can actually park the policy before Follow Me's actually come out. But let's see who he leads. Who are you going to go after? It's going to be My Shao. It's going to be a Rangaroo, and he's going to be the My Shao. So he has a Fake Out ability or the ability to Fake Out. This turn he can't drop a trick room as well um i think i just proc policy right i don't think i even go for a trick room i think i just proc policy right we get in for it like that and i can dynamax and uh do i drop a steel spike i can just get after some rangaroo like that but my shout's kind of posing something but so i can go into drain and kiss after that i'm gonna get the attack drop onto the my shout we dynamax baby I don't think the Rangaroo learns fake out either. But I think he's going to trick him. I think that's his plan. It's, it's for him to fake out and try to set up a trick room. But I always get confused. Is my uh, Draining Kiss going to come out before that fake out? It might. It might. I'm not too sure. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. No. The fake out comes out first. He's going to shoot on quick card. Okay. That's fine. Protected the opposing team. Draining Kiss is going to come out here. And... That's totally fine by me. 
we're going after our opponent. Quick card only uh, protects off of like first turn priority moves, right? So yeah, we're gonna be able to get off a warm wind. We're gonna be able to drop that minus shot on minus one, and we're gonna be able to do big damage over onto the mangrove and just take him out in one shot. Beautiful, awesome, dope. All right, cool. And we get that attack drop with shoes, and I go into a drain kiss next turn and do a decent amount of damage onto him, considering it's super effective. It's stab. It's pretty lovely. He's getting off started stronger. Better than that last battle. Haxorus actually gets a kill here. But the Alga is just an absolute beast. I feel like the Alga is one of the better restricted Pokemon. Considering how hard it can hit and how much of a tank it is. I feel like that's what makes uh, Ice Rider Cowlick such a beast. It can eat up shots. It can do mad damage. It's just an all-around great Pokemon. So you get him rolling in a trick room, it's game over. Then his speed's basically boosted because it slowly goes first. But he's, he's just all-around phenomenal. But Orangaroo's done. So whatever he was trying to do... Try making a hard read on me. But it didn't, didn't work out in his favor. So we get the first turn KO. We have the Dynamax turns rolling. We have a weak sponsor proc. We have a support mod out here. And we still have Umbreon in the back end. So gonna go ground on. I gotta tell that thing to get out of my face. We're gonna set the drought. We're gonna go for the lovely little drought. The fire moves are gonna be boosted. And my well, ally switch. And he could just go for his little blade move. But now I'm just gonna go for a draining kiss. Take off that thing's uh sash. And then, I think it's physical attacking, right? Yeah, just get after him with a worm one. Give me no reason not to. Get that stab damage rolling. He's probably going to Dynamax Groudon. I can totally see that happening. Yeah, Groudon's physical attacking. Because usually people rock out with the, the Blades move. It's ground move. Um, fire Punch, which is physical. And then a third move. And usually protect. Let's just see what he does. So, no Trick Room for him. We kind of just got rid of his Trick Room right off the bat here. I think he thought I was going into like a... I guess a draining kiss on one of them. It worked out so well because I was like, yo, okay, you, you guard it. You just waste a turn. I'm just going to proc the policy. But there goes his Dynamax. We're going to make his attack drop to one. And we are going to drain a kiss over onto the My Shao. Take off his Sash. Because every single My Shao is Sash. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. You're not bringing that Pokemon in and not giving it the Sash. Right? That, that's the thing. Like, what other item are you going to give him? Maybe a, a choice band, but still. I'm always rocking Sash when I used to use it. We're just draining kiss. He's not quick guarding this time. And we're going to be able to do a decent amount of damage onto this thing because it, it is definitely a light leap. Like, look how much damage we did with a Comfy. Rockside's going to pop through. We're going to be able to eat up all day. I'm going to go before. And we're going to get off a Wormwood here. The Wormwood's going to drop. Bang. Doing a decent amount of damage. But more importantly, we get the minus one off of that, uh, that Groudon. And attack gets dropping on both of them. We can take out the My Shout next turn. He's probably going to quick guard. I ain't going to lie. Quick's going to come out here. Get a special defense boost, which totally fine. Considering we're physical attacking. So who else do I have in the back? I have Zassian in the back. Oh yeah, we're fine. You can have a special defense boost all day. All you want. He might quick guard again. There goes some life orb damage, but I'm just going to uh do the same thing I did last turn. Or I can ally switch. Predicting a quick guard. That might be the play. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna ally switch predicting the quick guard. And if he is gonna take a shot at me, then I'm just going to uh Eat it up, because he's going to be minus one. There's quick card, baby. Yeah, yo, you want to go for the quick card? You thought. You thought, yo. I read you like a book, son. Let Read you like a book, baby. <laughs> Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Big ally switch there. I love how, I, like, when I actually, like, think. I can actually make really, really good plays. Take you out. Get that ally switch rolling, just in case. But that works out perfectly. My shell's not doing anything. Um, And I get another turn with my hackers here. Get another lovely turn with my boy Axis. I can actually floral healing him this turn. Maybe I should have done last turn. My shell's not gonna do anything. He's he's minus three. <laughs> my shell's in at minus three, and I know for sure it's a physical attacker. The other out is fourth and final mind, which is going to be Torkoal. That's totally fine. I have a ground move. I do have a lovely ground move, which I believe it's EQ, right? Is it EQ? No, it's Stomping Catcher. Okay. And we're going to use it over on him. And I'm just going to floral healing up. Keep my boy alive. Might as well. Like, I'm not worried about that thing one bit. The My Shao. He just canceled the battle. Beautiful second battle. Absolutely dominated. Complete sweep with the Haxorus and Comfy combo. Sitting at 1-1. One one, we got to get this win so we can have this winning record for today's video. We're going up against a Zassian team as well. And he has three stars with Blast Suites and Cinnamon War Rillaboom. And then he has the Dragon Pole and Galarian Moltres. Okay. Um, so what I see here is he has half physical half special i mean i kind of want to lead i kind of want to go into umbriana and incineroar try to get after it this way that's not bad he might lead it we could lead incineroar 
He could lead Incineroar, which makes me want to bring Thunders. But I definitely want to uh, bring... I could actually just lead this. If he goes Intimidate, that's totally fine by me. We can get buzzing from there. We do have Fly, we have Super Power, we have the Assault Vest. But he also has Zacian. Zacian's kind of scary. We, all, we already know that. Uh, what other moves do I have with this thing? I know I have Snarl, which is great. We have Foul Play, which works out decently well. Um, I definitely want to bring in that Incineroar. I think we're going to go Zacian, Incineroar, and I think we're going to go Thunders. Do I bring Thunders? I don't want to lead Thunders. Hmm. I should withdraw. Ah, dude, I want Incineroar. I just want Incineroar. I want Zacian. I want Thunders. I want Haxorus. I'm just going to go Thunders here. I guess Thunders is going to be our Dynamax mod. It's going to have to be because we can't Dynamax uh, Zacian. That's the thing, we cannot Dynamax him, because he would be absolutely broken. Imagine if you could Dynamax Zacian or Zamazetta. It'd be unreal. It, the game would be unfair. Thank God that they kept that out the game. Legit would be unfair to a, a crazy extent. Because imagine just getting Zacian. All right, you're already plus one boosted. I'm just going to Dynamax you and dump on every single Pokemon. But he goes into these two. He's going to lead a Zacian, and I'm going to lead my Zacian as well as my Umbreon. I do have Foul Play, which is pretty lovely. It's pretty lovely. I could yawn on some Pokemon as well. We're both going to interpret sword, and we are both going to get after it. So I think his Dragapult is really not going to uh, stay in here. Dragapult's uh, getting a little dirty worked on to him. <laughs> I say I am still going to drop a foul play over on that slot. And I might protect here. Or I could just uh, get after him with a sacred sword. Hmm. I might just protect because uh, I pose a bigger threat. Or I could put Zassian to sleep. I think it's going to be... Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually yawn onto the Zacian slot. I'm just going to protect my Zacian. Let's see what he does. He might, he might withdraw his Dragapult. Nope, he's going to Dynamax Dragapult. That's totally fine. I'm going to protect here. Um, I wonder what he's going to go for. Probably a Worm one. Try his drop attack stats. Yeah, that's probably what he's going to do. I was kind of stinks because I protected this turn. But I'm going to get no boost out of my plus one. But I am going to get off a nice, lovely yawn. Protect comes out from my Zacian. And I don't think he'll take out my Umbreon in one shot. Let's see what he does. Gonna go for a, oh, he's going to go for a straight Phantasm over on the Umbreon. Umbreon's able to eat that up all day long. I don't know why he went over on the Umbreon like that. Does he just want that defense drop? Are you, are you doubling up into my Umbreon? Is that your plan? Can my Umbreon outspeed Zacian? I don't think so. Behemoth Blade comes through, and we're blocking up. Beautiful. So we're going to be able to get off a nice little yawn. Don't come out here. Yikes. We are minus one on the defensive board. And I think Drowsy and our left is, is going to pop out here. Which is lovely. But we're still plus one. Which I really, really like. Um, I could strong. I think I'm just going to drop a nice little foul play here. Over on to you. That thing is orb. I could. And I'm going to I'm gonna double up in him. I'm going to try to get rid of this uh, Dragon Ball here. Even though Zacian poses a big threat. It's up Incineroar. And he's going to oh, big play by us. Big turn for us. He's going to withdraw his Zacian, so no more minus one for him. No more minus one for us either, but still. We're going to get off a Behemoth Blade and a what's called. And I'm just going to protect my Zacian next turn so he can't fake me out. Because he can't fake out my uh, what's called. But he's going to bring me down to minus two. Yo, chill on me. Umbreon all goes down. Yo, that's whack. Well, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Big damage from him. Uh, I am going to be able to bring out a Behemoth Blade. I might swap my Zacian soon. We are minus two. Or no, we're minus one now, which kind of stinks. Behemoth Blade still comes out. Double damage to him. Not going to KO, I don't think. But still, decent amount of damage onto it. Yeah, solid damage onto a Dynamax Bond. Um, I might swap. Or do I bring my... I'm definitely going to bring my Incineroar out here. Hmm. I'm going to protect Zassi in this turn. And I'll swap him later. I do want to get a minus one on his Incineroar while I can. I can totally see him going for a Flare Blitz into my Zacian, so we're just, we're just trying to wait out these Dynamax turns. Just trying to wait it out, man. The Darkest Slayer, but gotta go for that fake out so he just go on, one on me. Then I just protect. Actually, nah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna Sacred Sword over on this thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop a Sacred Sword, try to get damage off, because I'm going for the fake out. And we do win that speed tie, which is lovely. We're going to do that. And here's going here's gonna to be his last turn. He's probably going in for my Incineroar. Eat this up, Incineroar. Thank you very much. Our Citrus Berry is going to trigger. And I think I swap uh, 
I think I swap Zassy next turn. But I can't have him out here minus two. Definitely gotta swap him here. Fish Berry's popping. And the Sacred Sword's gonna come in here as well. And my attack stats do not do anything to this. Right? Or doesn't? Is this policy? Bro, what in Cinnamor is policy? That is actually nuts. Oh, dude, that's kind of stinks, dude. He's gonna, he's gonna do some work onto me. I think we just have to let Zassian go down. Hopefully, gonna Darkest Larry on this thing. I can't. Oh, no, I can't protect this turn, which I am going to do. 100% protect. Please do not go into a Phantom Force. Here's my protect. Do not read me hard. Go for a Flare Blitz into me. Phantom Forces. Dang it, man. Did I have swapped that turn? Let's see. Flare Blitz coming out. Kind of saw that coming all day. Protect blocks it. So, hmm. One's a tough turn. I think we have to let uh let the boy go down. I don't want my Thunderous to eat up a uh. I go for a double protect. Hmm. This targets attack damage. Oh, it's the target stats. Doesn't affect it. Okay. I guess we'll just go for a Behemoth Blade. Nah, we'll just go for another Secret Sword. We already practice policy. Here's Phantom Force. Eat it up, Incineroar. Lovely. Lovely, Incineroar. I think Flare Blitz is still going to come out here. Secret Sword should come out as well. Secret Sword popping. Do not pick up the KO. They're both scary mods here. Darkest Slayer is going to be able to pick up the KO onto this uh, Dragapult. This one's going. We still have Dynamax. This one's going to be a good battle. This one is going to be a good battle. And we still have a Soul Fest, so hopefully his last attack is special. Miss your Flare Blitz, please. He connects. That's going to take out Zassy, no problem. He's policy proc, dude. That's insane. But it's good to know that my Incineroar is outspeeding him. It's not just a speed tie, we're just simply outspeeding him. And Recoil takes out. Oh, baby, dude. I like this. I like this a lot. Recoil takes him out. Thunderous comes in. We still have Dynamax. We have our Soul Fest. So show me the other Pokemon besides Zassy and a special attacker. Let me Blast Switch, and it is special attacking, which I don't have to worry about that thing. I don't have to worry about that thing. I can dump on that thing one turn. I'm worrying about the Zassian right here. I'm worrying about the boy here. Oh, he gets another plus one? Bro, that's whack. It's every time he comes in. That is scary. I am going to Flare Blitz. I'm getting right after this thing. I am going to Dynamax. I could Max Lightning. Go to Airstream to try to get that speed boost. But it's going to be not very effective over on him. Good Lightning. I think I'm going to Lightning set this train. Um, do I worry about that Blastoids? Like, what can that Blastoids really do? I speed my Incineroar. Hmm. That's that seems the bigger threat. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna get after this blast suites. Cause I can take this blast suites out in one shot, and I don't really see it protecting. Um, hmm. That's tough, dude. Maybe I should have went after Zassian. Let's see what Zassian's doing. Because I, I think my Thunder's out speeds the blast suites. So if I can uh hit up on this uh blast suites and just take it out in one shot, so it doesn't get to my Incineroar. That, that's my thought process behind this one. And okay, he's just dropping a fake out. That's his plan. That's his plan. And he's just gonna go for a behemoth blade. Eat this up, baby. You got it. This is a tasty snack for you. Don't do more than half. Do not do more than half. Woo! Ouch. Ouch. Oh my god. And this thing's rocking the berry. Yo, everything's not going in our favor here. We're not gonna be able to pick up the KO here. The berry, man. The berry is clutching up. Oh man, yo, what a play. What a play by him. Behemoth Blade comes out. Maybe we should have went after it. It's Asian. Um. So no flinches. Dude. We just gotta get after this thing. We gotta get a parting shot. Well, not parting shot. Flare Blitz. I don't have guard. I do not have guard. I guess we go after his Asian. That's game, man. That's rough news. Rough news. Behemoth Blade comes out here. That's GG's. Wow, what a battle. What a third battle. I thought we maybe we had that one in the bag. He comes out with a fake out, and he's also rocking the berry as well. as GG's. But we let Zassian hang around a little too long. Cannot let that happen. We went one and two, which isn't bad. I think that first battle was the only bad battle we had. Kind of just went in there. Guns a-blazing. Dynamax and a and got dumped on. And then this battle was actually decently solid, I thought.
I thought we had a good third and final battle. He just overpowered us in the end. Had that berry to help him out. And then he also had that Zassy and getting that plus one attack boost at the end once again. Shout out to my boy Trenton for dropping this team. I absolutely loved it. Everything about it was very, very cool. The Zassy is an absolute beast. Alongside with the Haxorus and Confi combo, that's really, really strong. And then the other Pokemon around it are amazing with the Thunderous, Incineroar, and Umbreon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be trying to go 2-1. I feel like I haven't went 2-1 or 3-0 in a good little bit. I think the past two battles have been 1-2. and two, So hopefully the next video, we can actually change it up. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.